My first memory of Summer Lyric Theater was as an audience member. My friend Joelle Myers had three children in the cast of The King and I. And I was very surprised to see how good the whole production was. I've been privileged to go to the Lyric Theater the last 49 years. I've met every year and I've had the privilege of listening to some of the greatest musicals, the greatest entertainment I've ever received in life. Summer Lyric Theater is important in New Orleans because there is such a devotion to the material from the orchestras to the costumes down to the sets and a reverence for the big larger than life Golden Age musical. One thing I love about Summer Lyric here in New Orleans, the people that buy the tickets, they feel they feel a tremendous ownership. The loyalty, I think, can be credited to the high standards that are expected and maintained on this stage every summer. The audiences have such high expectations. They really expect the shows to be letter perfect, note perfect. My first show at Tulane was Man of La Mancha. And this is, a, this is a type of quality you had. The guy I'm dancing next to, within five years, he's dancing for the Jose Limon Company. Guys in the chorus, 10 years from that date, were singing at the Metropolitan Opera. It was a big deal. We have a legacy of wonderful stars on our stage, many of whom have gone on to be stars elsewhere. People, when they come here, they know they're going to hear first-rate music. Part of our legacy is that we've always had whatever the orchestration called for, we've had it in the pit. We don't cut corners with our musicians. And to perform with a full symphony orchestra, I mean, that's, you don't get that anywhere anymore. When you sit in those seats right out there and hear this full symphony orchestra, if you don't have a surge of emotions and exultation of emotions, um, I think you're not living. When I went to see South Pacific, at Lincoln Center. Now these are very sophisticated people. They hadn't heard a full orchestra in Broadway in so long because of the musician strike, this and cutting things down to synthesizers. The overture to South Pacific got a standing ovation. And I thought, you know, they hear that in New Orleans every summer. My first show here was Guys and Dolls. My first show was Damn Yankees, 1980, and Tony Bevanetto choreographed it. Mike Howard played the devil, which was Tight casting. casting. <laughs> <laughs> I did my very first musical ever here at Summer Lyric. Um, I was 15 years old. One of the first shows was Annie Get Your Gun, and I played Buffalo Bill. But my first line was, my young friend, it gives me great pleasure to return to my favorite state, Ohio, the Buckeye State. And I said that with all the fervor I've ever had in my life. It just fell in love with it. And Kelly and Mark Fushi met on this stage. How do you like that? And I had worked with Kelly when she was a high school student. Well, I remember um, after auditioning, I'd get that famous letter mm -hmm. that everybody waits for. Uh, that would tell you what shows you were going to be in that you know you, that you were accepted for. We'd like you to be in this, this, and this. So I came in. I was a part of South Pacific, and by the you know preview of South Pacific, I was like, "Holy cow, that was a lot of work." I don't think I could continue this for three shows in a row. One of the most amazing things about Summer Lyric Theater's quality of their production is the small amount of rehearsal time. We begin rehearsing. Two and a half weeks later, we open. Four days later, we strike the set, we begin rehearsing, two and a half weeks later, we open. One of the hardest things is if the show is huge, like a, a 42nd Street. In 10 days, they're learning to dance every single night. May not see that dance again until the first run through. I feel like when we did 42nd Street, we were still working on the ballet like two nights before we opened. This stage is not very big and to put the amount of scenery and, and performers that the, these directors put on there, it's amazing. If you come to Summer Lyric, when Leonard comes through that door, you can hear a pin drop. It's just incredible, it's better than drugs. I mean, it's incredible. It's incredible. And the experience of hearing that, you know, it's just, it's just marvelous. There's an immediate hush. They listen to the overture, they react to the overture, they react to the music. I mean, I've heard other people say it to me, 
this is a singer's theater. And of course, we know that there are beautiful singers in all of the theaters in town, but we put such an emphasis on that and with the full orchestra that I think makes us unique in this town. And I think that's why people keep coming back again and again.